Okie dokie, welcome to Prodigy Sniper Bot. So to start, just search for Prodigy in your Telegram and start. Next, join the Prodigy Sniper Telegram. You have to join it well, to use the bot. This is a way to avoid uh, DDoS attacks and other bot attacks on the bot. So go ahead and join. Um, this is a good place to get news or ask for features or ask questions. So let's head back to the bot and type wallets. First thing you need to do, generate some wallets, right? So let's go ahead and generate a wallet. And there's my wallet. Cool. I have one. Wonderful. Next, you'll see that the wallet is now listed in my wallets. Great. Let's paste in a contract. We'll do the Prodigy bot contract, obviously. So you can see the supply, the market cap, liquidity. You can see the taxes, the buy and sell check mark simulations are there. So that means that it is relatively safe. You see the wallet I'm using and the amount of ETH in it, how many times it's been scanned to the bot is under alpha uh, in the gas cost. Um, you can also see that I only make some more wallets right now so we can show you how the wallet system works. Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, hit wallet select to enter the menu transfer uh, is how you can transfer transfer native tokens private swap is a tumbler and cross train bridges send erc20 is how you send uh tokens so rather than the native token of the chain that you're messing with so as you can see if you hit generate wallet i just made another one and another one great now i have a total of three wallets let's head back over to that back to which wallets you want to enable when you turn on multi-wallet so now I've enabled two wallets. Okay, and then I can hit current wallet selection and choose use multi-wallet. Great, now multi-wallet is selected. I can send amount of ETH, buy a certain percentage of the supply, or spend amount of tokens, uh, buy an amount of tokens. In the extra options, you'll see the anti-mev option, and you'll see the slippage. Personally, because I'm a psychopath, I usually use unlimited slippage and just use the anti-mev option. I've never mevved with it, no guarantees, but I've never seen it fail when limited. Now, if we want to check out the config options for each chain, uh, here we have them. You can switch the chain at the top. Under advanced, you'll find the copy trading option, which is great. But you'll also find our wallet modif modifier. So button will then change from just a selection mode to change to cycling. So this is actually how Maestro does it for the most part. You can just click and it'll cycle through your wallets. It'll cycle through your multi-wallet and through your other wallets. Great, now let's check out the sniping menu. So first there's the liquidity option. Not many coins launch with liquidity anymore on snipe, but some still do. It'll snipe as soon as liquidity is added. Method sniping is the leaps up after you hit method and find the appropriate method, the, met the contract call. So most of the time it'll say trading enable or something like that, or launch or something like that. In this scenario for Prodigy, I believe it was swap active. So I'm gonna go ahead, click that option. It'll copy it and you just paste it. Now my method is live. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Launch slower is the backup option. Kind of. Sometimes it works great. It tries to use any of the known available methods to automatically snipe, or it tries to wait for seeing um, buys on block so you'll probably it'll go off it'll just probably be late uh, use that as a backup option or if you can't find the method identifier um, bribes are there um, if you know how to use bribes great if you don't i would suggest looking into it to understand it don't just blindly try and bribe it has a lot of uh there's a lot of thinking to do on that there's the block delay time delay retries on fail block delay if you know there's dead blocks retries on fail just in case and then how much to spend in eth or other native tokens or tokens of the coin you're buying or a percentage of the supply. Heading back to config, you can, there's the button to change all of the uh, different configuration options for different chains. A lot of the configurations options are in the buy menus uh, and in the monitor menus. So like slippage and anti-mev. Um, and then there's Houdini swap options under private swap, which allows for bridging and uh, sending through a tumbler kind of a tumbler, which allows you to shake copy traders. Now let's take a look at the actual monitoring menu. Uh, so here we have a monitor uh, for Prodigy Bot. We added the monitor and now we have the sell menu where you can sell all, uh, sell 25 percentages, different percentages, uh, sell amount of tokens, a specific percentage or sell for a specific amount of ETH. 
can hide that cell. I love the collapsible menus here. Extra options, like I said, some of the stuff that's in config is hidden here too. You have the anti-rug option, which is not 100% foolproof. It tries to front run known rug actions, but if they're using high enough gas, or if you're on a chain other than Ethereum, it's often the gas, you know, it's often not gonna work. Um, obviously slippage and anti-map is there as well. Uh, so there's the orders menu. This is limit orders, auto sell and auto buy. Auto sell for a price uh, selling high and selling for negative, uh, which is a stop loss. So you have limit sells either way, stop loss or taking profit. Um, then you have the auto buy options down below, right? And that will allow you to uh, buy the dip basically. So you can either buy at a market cap or you can buy at a percent page, uh, percent change. And then you also have the buy amount above it which you obviously have to fill out for it to go off. It'll go off, but you won't be buying anything. So pick your market cap, your percentage change, and or percentage change, and then your buy amount. And that is how the auto buy function works. Um, if you have any questions, further questions, feature requests, uh, issues with the bot, come on into the Telegram and ask. This was a rough crash course. We'll be doing more of them that are more detailed and longer in the future.